Yo guys, welcome back to a video PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Hitmonchan Ninetales deck here. Um, I've had this deck built for a while now. I didn't really know when to make a video on it. I didn't really want to. I thought the deck was mediocre, but you know what? Because I'm in the mood to play Hitmonchan, I was like, oh, let's try this Hitmonchan Ninetales deck I've had built for a while. Uh, this deck is a bit of an issue though for me. Uh, it's one of the main problems with Hitmonchan in the new format is, yeah, you still have the Hitmon Lee and the Hitmon Top spin Finishing Combo OP stuff. The problem with the deck is that its damage output is really lackluster. But because of the Behemoth Ninetales deck making waves for the hit and run meta, we could see this Hitmonchan Ninetales deck be kind of fun. I was like, alright, Ninetales seems like a pretty decent partner for Hitmonchan. This is a budget build, as you can see from looking at it. This is a budget deck, obviously. But yeah, I felt like Ninetales was the only good partner for Hitmonchan. And uh, we'll try the deck out today on PC Joe and see if it is any a good. Because this deck could have some merit. You can easily, you know, use Diancie and Martial Arts Dojo. If you're behind in prizes, you can do an extra 60. You can turn that into a 90 damage hit and run, which is kind of cool. Um, so there are some things that could go right about this deck. The Hitmon Lee and the Hitmon Top are still pretty cool. So yeah, before we end the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Carbon TCG, guys. As always, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, if you're trying to get Unified Minds codes, or if you're trying to pre-order yourself some Cosmic Eclipse codes, uh, you can head over and pre-order your codes at Carcarvin TCG. You can pre-order them singly, or you can pre-order a lot of 50 Cosmic Eclipse codes um, over at Carcarvin. It's the place to get them. They do have all the other PDCGO code and goodness stuff, like GX codes, like Mew3 codes, and Picaron codes, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for PDCGO codes, get them at Carcarvin TCG. Use code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Uh, support the channel, help yourself out, help out Carcarvin TCG. So yeah, shout out to Carcarvin TCG, guys. So now let's look at our list. So yeah, I've had this deck built for quite some time now. I've never really got around to make a video on it. One of my also main issues with this deck was draw consistency. Um, I've kind of just crammed in a bunch of supporters. I didn't, like, know what to play. Like, I couldn't really find room to play Pidgeotto. I couldn't really figure out or find room for, like, any other. Like, Zeb Strikeo didn't seem very good in here either. So I just kind of was like, all right, we're just going to play a bunch of draw supporters and see how it goes. Um, that was pretty much that. Um, so yeah, we know Hitmonchan. It's main, one main appeal is that it can hit Dark and Lightning for weakness. So it can hit Weavile, Dark Box decks for weakness. And of course, you get that advantage of hitting Picaron for weakness. And we just go into a Ninetales here with Luminous Barrier. Prevent all effects of attacks. Could damage done to this Pokemon. By your opponent's Pokemon GX or EXs, which is kind of nice. And that's going to be our wall. We do have another wall, though, with Gumi. Uh, this deck could get better, potentially, with the new Clefairy doll coming out, though, which is kind of cool. And, of course, we have our Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Top. If you do Hitmon Chance attack last turn, you can do Special Combo, which allows you to do 90 damage to one of your opponent's fetch Pokemon. Uh, knock out a free Jirachi, hit a Dedenne, or knock out a Malamar. Just some options. And, of course, Hitmon Top being the big one himself. Finishing Combo. You have to use Hitmon Lee's attack last turn, which means you have to do Hitmon Chance attack. But you can do 60 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. If they don't have a Mew in play, this attack is insane. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, one of the other issues I have with this deck is getting your Pokemon back. Uh, as you can see, I only played two Hitmon Lee, one Hitmon Top. But a lot of the time, I'm focusing on just hit and run Ninetales. Sadly, I cannot find any... Like, Brock Grit, I guess, could go work in here. But, like... You don't have any way to like find the Pokemon after you Brock Scrit. Your only Pokemon search is Pokemon Communication and Pokemon Fan Club. That's also one of the problems with the deck. There's no Nest Ball. There's no Rescue Stretcher, which is really bad for this deck. So we have to rely on Pokecom and Fan Club to find us our basics. Not ideal, but it is what it is. I would like to maybe play two Hitmontops instead of just one, but I can't really find room. I guess you could play like a... Oh, you can take out a Custom Catcher. We'll talk about why Custom is important though in a minute. Just some other things, of course. We got Buzzwolf for Sledgehammer. Uh, we got Mew to protect our bench, just stuff like that. Uh, that's all the Pokemon. We go to the items now and supporters. There's a lot to talk about here. We are playing for Custom Catcher. The main appeal with Custom Catcher is that you can knock out Mew. If they bench a Mew, you can just knock it out with Hit Run, Fighting Dojo, Diancie knocks it out, 60 damage on the dot. That's why Customs are good. But you can also use Custom Catcher to special combo the Pokemon you already did Hit Run with etc there's a there's a lot of cool things to do with this you can also like martial dojo finishing combo custom catcher i did NAGX for the knockout uh that's also pretty good uh we are playing four pokey gears to find our supporters four pokey comms to find our pokemon stuff like i guess friend ball could be good but there's really nothing you could use with friend ball that's another issue there's just no good search for this deck uh there is one reset stamp though i got two switches mainly in case you start with diancy or buzzle but also if you don't want to retreat Hitmonchan into Hitmon Lee or something like that, you can just switch out instead of retreating the energy. We only play 10 energy. Uh, there's three Martial Arts Dojo. One of the best cards in this deck is this card. I would maybe play four. Can't find room for four, though. Though I think four is really good. 
Uh, I got one Blues Tactics, four Cynthia, four Lily, one Erica. Again, I've gone with a heavy count of draw supporters just because it's really good to have draw cards in this deck. Uh, Blues Tactics I'm just kind of tweaking with. Could be pretty cool. Just drawing a bunch of cards in your hand is good. That is one way you can also find your Pokemon is just by drawing a big hand. And Bill and Blues Tactics can get you a big hand. Uh, we got three U-Turn Boards. Again, one of the best cards of this deck is U-Turn Board because you can recycle it and it lets you retreat your Ninetales and Gumi for free and even your Hitmons for free. One Karate Belt seems like a really good card in here. You can just slap a Karate Belt onto Hitmonchan or Hitmon Lee, and then it provides you free energy. Because again, a lot of the time you're going to be behind in prizes with this deck. I got Nine Fighting, and I am playing one Unit Energy just on the off chance we can win with Nine Tails. We can just put Unit Energy on and just build it up with two Fightings, and then just knock them out with Aurora Beam. That is why the Unit Energy is so good. But yeah, this is my Hitmonchan deck. It's a little weird. I. It's kind of hard to build. There's no good draw consistency engine in this deck. There's no good Pokemon search. The only thing this deck has going for it is cool sniping combos and also having a good wall Pokemon. That's about it. But we're going to try the deck out on PCGO and see if we can win a game or two with Hitmonchan. All right, guys, we're going to get into a game here with the Hitmonchan deck. Looks like we're playing against potentially Malamar, which, depending on if they bench a Mew or not, actually might not be too bad thanks to Hitmonchan and Hitmon, or Hitmon Top and Hitmon Lee. Maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, we are going to start with the Hitmonchan. We do have a turn one fan club, which I do like quite a bit. I think Gumi is going to be the main main Pokemon to switch into for a little bit. Ninetales, not so much. Okay, they're playing an alternate crossbow build. They do have Sky Scorching Light, which is kind of annoying, but I think we'll be fine. The Giratina matchup, though not very amazing again gumi and maybe you know hitmon topping and hitmon lean the malamars is our ticket to winning we'll have to see how we do they did get rid of a malamar that acrobike which does make sniping those malamars actually pretty relevant in all honesty uh there is a cynthia we'll see what they get here they're gonna pokey calm or, okay, they have the Mew in the deck, which is unfortunate, but they do put it back, which is good. So they might not get it in play. We can always knock out the Mew, though, with Custom Catcher. They do donate us an energy, which I like. Hmm. We're not going to be able to knock out the Jirachi. It just would barely live. We could do 60 damage in total with hit and run, but Drachi would survive. All right, they only got one in game play though, which is good. We drew an energy. Okay, so we don't have to play that. All right, well, fan club here. We're probably gonna get a... Uh, I guess a Vulpix and a Hitmonlee. No, we can save the Pokecom for Hitmonlee. I think we get Diancie. Diancie Vulpix seems good. We can go into the Vulpix because we don't really care if we lose it. I would go Gumi, but the fact of the matter is they have a free Malamar attachment on this, and they can attach for turn. They could easily Photon Geyser my Gumi, and Gumi might be pretty good if they ever attack me with Giratina. So we'll kind of play it. Play a little safe for now. I'm not too worried about Gumi. Gumi will be good for later. We'll see if they do knock out my Hitmonchan. I doubt they will. They have to have Custom Catcher, so we should be okay. They do Cynthia. Hopefully they do not get a Mew down so we can knock out the Inke here or the Malamar if they do get a Malamar. Actually, it'd be pretty good too if they don't move the Jirachi. What does this thing's ability do if you have no energy on it? If you have any Fairy Pokemon. Never mind. Let's see if they get a switching card here to KO me. Hopefully not, but they probably will. They do. That is a big fail. Do they get a Malamar play, though? Because if not, we can maybe set up a hip on top play soon. Knock out Jirachi, knock out a few Inkays. Ooh, they lose Mimikyu. Okay. I kind of hope they would lose Mew. Once Mew goes away, we should be good. They might just get Mew here, though, with this treasure. But they're probably going to get a Malamar. No, they actually get a Giratina. Okay, have they played the Viridian Forest yet? They haven't, and they... Well, they have, and they've already benched it. 
So they're going to hit me here with Photon Geyser. That's fine. Oh, maybe I should have doubled down on the Vulpix and then go into a Ninetales here. I don't know. It is what it is. What do we draw? Right, we draw our Gumi. I like to see it. We'll get the Hitmonlee. We'll uh, Cynthia before we play Viridian. We'll see what we get. Okay. This is fine. We'll Viridian away the fan club, I guess? We are going to have to give up an energy here. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Well, they have three cards in their hand. They've played two supporters. I guess I could just hit and run them for 50, go into the Gumi. But, like, I think taking the KO here on the Inke is good. I could knock out the Jirachi, though, too. Probably punish them for not having a good hand, but they probably have a supporter in their hand anyway, so I think I'm going to knock out one of these Inkes. We'll take our prize. Got an energy. Good. Good, good, good. I was kind of hoping we maybe get a U-turn board there. They might get the uh, Mew here. We'll see. Yeah, they had a Jirachi in their hand. It doesn't even matter if I uh, hit them. Oh, they got another Inkei. So they don't actually take a Mew down or a Malamar. We could potentially hit them on top all of these Pokemon. That would be really good. Oh, they have a Lily for six. Oh, that is pretty annoying. See if they get the uh, Mew or not. They are knocking me out. That's also really annoying. Oh, they spell tag. Does it only be on the active? Oof. So they could just spell tag knock out Gumi. But they are going to actually potentially give me a three prize turn. We need a U-turn board to hit him on top. I mean, if not, I'm honestly fine with doing hit and run, but man, it's, I really want to take these prizes. Down two energy. I think we got to bring in the Hitmonchan. See if we can get a Cynthia or an Erica. Erica's good, okay. Man, I really want to sweep their bench here so badly. Uh, will Viridian away Pokey here? Hit him on tops there. We have two nine tails. How many U-turn boards and switches? Okay, we got both switches. We have our U-turn boards, and we have a dojo. That's something else I want to see. All right, Erica for six. Nice. The only issue, though. Oh, we have our sledgehammer turn too. Still though, I think it's real. I think it's worth it to take these prizes. I think it's better to just take the prizes. We'll skip the uh, nine tails. The only issue with this is we are gonna lose our Gumi, which is kind of a problem because I think Gumi is a good attacker here or a good wall Pokemon. But taking these prizes is worth it, in my opinion. We'll evolve the nine tails. Taking three prizes is too tempting not to do. Still no dojo. That would have been good to see. We could dojo hit him even harder. We actually could have KO'd the Necrozma here if we had the dojo. That's actually really bad that we can get it. Because we could have knocked out the Necrozma. But yeah, taking out all these Pokemon is just way too good. Way, way, way too good. Uh, they do have Sky Scorching Light. But that's why I evolved the Ninetales. So that, that doesn't happen. Custom Catcher is good. Hit on me. So we could win this turn if they don't actually get a Mew. No, yeah, we really needed to get the dojo there to do 40 damage. That really sucks that we didn't get it. We actually could have won here if they keep the Necrozma in the active, or we draw into a double custom play. We could just smack them with Hitmonchan. We'll see what we do. At least we came close to winning the game. We actually did put up a good fight. I gotta give this deck credit for that. We put up a pretty good fight. The game is still winnable. I think it is still winnable. We'll see. Plus, uh, their, dis their Shadow Impact damage might be relevant, too. Really relevant, actually. Actually, why are they not doing... 
Distortion door. But Giratina is kind of weird. Okay, now we're going to switch into the Giratina. And then Lily. We do want to get a reset stamp here. I think that would be really big. Reset could win us the game if they don't bench Mew here and they don't find it later on. Let's see what happens here. Nope, there's no Mew. That means I can do another... Uh, oh, no, we, we only have one hit on top. What am I saying? Let's see where they put the Shadow Impact damage. This is going to be really relevant. They hit the other gear team. They actually could have maybe hit themselves, and if I knock them out, we, they spell tag, and then they can, like, win with Sky Scorch and Light. Which is something we do have to watch out for. We actually can't really bench many more Pokemon. Okay. Our hand is pretty bad. I think we'll just do this just to burn it. Three customs. Our stamp is there, so are our dojos. Let's see what this gives us. Nice, we got the reset. No dojo still, that's not great, but we can stamp them the two. We can play down another Hitmonchan. We'll hit run. We can feed him the Hitmonchan. Do we want to feed him Hitmonchan here? I kind of... Now I kind of wish they weren't even taking a prize because... To be honest with you... Mew and Hitmon Lee could win us the game. Now I'm not so sure. Uh, that custom catcher play, I guess, is available. No. I actually don't know what to go into here. Hmm. I could stay in the active. Uh, I don't think I can win at this point, even with the stamp to two. Alright, let's just stay in the active. It's just, we have the U-turn board. Yeah, I don't think we can win this anymore, guys. Ah, this, they're just taking too many prizes. There's really no way we can win. Yeah, I, I just don't see how we're getting out of this. So we uh, did some pretty cool things this game, which is always good. But yeah, I, I just don't... Yeah, I don't think we can win. At this point... If we were able to set up a custom play on the alternate cross, well, that would have been really good. But... We just weren't able to find the dojo when we did that spinning combo card. So yeah, I don't think we can win, guys. We just don't have anything we can go into here. Like, maybe Gumi would have been good. Technically, Gumi could have been okay, but again, Sky Scorching Light doesn't really matter. I don't think this game was winnable, unfortunately. Maybe if we were able to KO this thing, we could have won, but... Yeah, at this point, it's kind of too late to win. Still, though, we uh, put up a good fight. I like to see it. We put up the fight. We did some pretty cool things with Hitmon top. So, I guess it's all good in the hood. Like, the only way I could win is maybe with Mew, but it's too late. 30, 30, yeah. If we were able to do another Hitmon top, maybe we could have won. <laughs> but at this point, not so much. Well, I guess I could actually double custom the Malamar. Okay, you know what? We actually might not be out of the game just yet. Yeah, we might actually not be out of the game. If we can hit double custom here, we could trap the Malamar. Let's see if this pays off. They're all in the deck. All four custom catchers are there. If we can get double custom, we could bring up the Malamar. And we don't. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, really? I didn't even get either. Dang it. That's pretty frustrating, not gonna lie. That is pretty frustrating. 
Oh my gosh. We we could have won if we if we custom the Malamar and it didn't move. We could have Hitmon lead the one Malamar. He stays in the active, and then we just go back into Hitmon Chan and hit and run knock him out. That Yeah. So we could have won, then we just needed to find our custom catchers, and the game was not nice enough to give them to us. It's pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Wait, what? Did this guy just tie the game? Why wait what? Why would he tie the game? What? Yo, I'm actually so we could win. If he gets a bad start and like a 6 HP Pokemon, we could easily win with a Hitmonchan. Yo, we might actually be able to win. What? Why would he tie the game? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We could win this still. Gumi could maybe stall us. We'll see. Nah, he started. Dang it! I was gonna say, uh, if we f if we had a way to potentially custom Dojo up in Inke, we can win with Diancie Dojo. We'll see. I don't know why he tied the game like that. That was kind of random. I guess like he just was like, "Yo, I want to play this game, man." If he started with an Inke here, that would have been perfect. He actually didn't get anything. Okay. We could go Gumi into a Ninetales and then make the Necrozma not damage me. He's not doing anything. I don't know why he's... I guess he has a Lily, but that wouldn't make... Why would you not get Pokemon? That does not make any sense to me whatsoever. He doesn't even know I have Custom Catcher because we didn't play any Custom Catchers last game. It's not like he like wants to mention Inkay. We could maybe turn a Lily into Dojo, Diancy, Custom, Knockout, Inkay. We could actually do that. Let's see. Because if not... Ninetales and Gumi are gonna suffice. This guy's his plays are making this guy's plays make no sense. What is he doing? What is why what? Why is he not getting any Pokemon? Okay. Weird. You can actually stamp him to one, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Uh, we'll get rid of... Pokecom. That's... I don't know, that's a tough discard. But I do want a thin. Okay, so we got our lilies. Gumi, please be in the deck. Yes, okay, we have the Ninetales 2, 3 customs. He could Sky Scorching Light me. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. If we fan club dojoed him, that would be good. We could still go Gumi Vulpix here, though. Let's take it anyways. Okay, thank you, Lily, for uh, coming out to play. That's really annoying. I guess we can go Gumi, Vulpix. Both Gumi and Vulpix here are good. I guess we didn't need to go Vulpix because technically Vulpix gets Sky Scorching lighted. A Lily would have been nice. Okay. Maybe I can't win this actually. Because of Sky Scorching Light. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the Gumi the entire time. To be honest. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed Gumi. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed Gumi there. Maybe I should have just committed to a Ninetale stall. Oh, we could do this. Okay, we could do this, do this. Yeah, I probably should have just committed to the Ninetail stall there. Whatever. We force him to have to have an energy here if he wants to win the game. Yeah, I shouldn't have grabbed Gumi. That was pretty stupid. Should not have grabbed Gumi. But I guess, no, it would have been impossible to do Ninetails anyway. So yeah, the Gumi was good. No! Are you serious? He has an energy in his hand. Alright guys, we're gonna go try out the deck again here on PCGO. 
kind of got snaked out of a win there, but whatever. It's fine. We were really going to win the Malamar game anyways, but still, we, we did pretty good, I would say, in that game regardless. So, looks like we're up against Mewtwo here, or a Firebox. We'll see. I haven't seen a Picarom deck yet. I would actually really like to see Picarom, because that's like just seems like it'd be a good matchup. Well, obviously, but you know what I mean. Uh, we are mulliganing, okay. We're not really revealing what we're playing, though, which I like. So, again, this could be Mew. It could be Blacephalon, maybe. They do have Naganadel sleeves. Okay. We do start with our Vulpix. And we have a turn one fan club. That's always good. Turn one fan club is good. Ooh, looks like they are playing Blacephalon. We'll see how we do. I think Blacephalon's, like, average. The Naganadels are pretty annoying and hard to deal with, in all honesty, but... Blacephalon is a GX Pokemon, and that's uh, the good thing. We'll see if they end up playing a Mew down. They probably don't know what I'm playing, obviously, right off the bat. They see the Vulpix, and they're probably confused. Let's see what they do. They don't retreat. I was hoping they would. Okay. So we'll fan club, get ourselves a Hitmonchan, and another Vulpix. Just because Ninetales is really important here. I would actually prefer Vulpix didn't get knocked out, but nothing I can really do about it. Do that. Get Ultra Space for Buzzwool. We have all our Hitmons, that's good. I kind of want to play the dojo just so they don't get a free to Ganondel here, but they have no energy in the discard, so it's maybe unlikely they'll get an attack off. I don't know. I don't want to play the dojo if I'm not doing any damage. I kind of wish we would play four. Yeah, I guess we can maybe try to run like a Lusamine or two, because it gets us a dojo, and it can get us back like a fan club or something for next turn. We could also play Lieutenant Surge and then play multiple supporters too. There's a lot of weird things this deck can do, but I don't really know how I feel about it. We'll see how we do here. We might have to like custom out these Naganadels to finishing combo them maybe because like they have 130 HP, which is pretty relevant. Ooh, they get Naganadel GX into play. If they get rid of a Naganadel here with charging up, that's one less Pokemon they can use. They do. Oh, that's one less Pokemon that can attack Ninetales. And if we put a Mew in play, they can't just Venom Shot around my Ninetales, so that's pretty good. Uh, maybe we should play a Brock's Grid in this deck, though, after all. I'm starting to really think the Brock's Grid is a good card. I don't know what we'd take out, though. Maybe one Poke Gear. I don't know if I want to... Would, I don't know if I would take out a Custom Catcher. Like, that's also kind of debatable, but, like, Custom is just... You need it if they bench a Mew. But I am starting to think we should probably play one Brock's Grid. Whatever, though. It is what it is. Shrine of Punishment is good in here, too. There's, just, there's a lot of things we can run, but, like, there's just not enough room... Alright, let's see if they knock out my Vulpix here. It looks like they will with that Beast Energy. Which is fine. We can hit them pretty hard with Dojo. We can Erica too, it looks like. Ooh, they get rid of a Stadium too. That's really, really good for Dojo. Now they're down two Stadiums. You'll love to see it. Okay. They can knock me out. Hopefully they get rid of the energy on me, Naganadel, so that it doesn't attack me. No, they're smart and they know how to play the game. Okay. Okay, that's good. We can uh, use this to get Ninetales. I was like, okay, we need to get a Ninetales. We can't just, like, you know, we need Ninetales. Get that guy down. We can Ultra Space back the Buzzwool. Not sure if I want to play it down. There's really no need to. Well, Erica. We got double custom catcher. We could hit the Naganadel here for 70. And then it gets knocked out by finishing combo.
That actually doesn't seem too bad. We can also just hit it with a special combo. We can also hit the Bolcephalon. I don't know. I kind of want to do that, though, because this thing is the only thing that can take... Yeah, you know what? I think this might actually pay off. I guess we also could knock it out with Sledgehammer at some point if we needed to with Diancy, but whatever. This is fine. We set it up to be KO'd by Hitmonlee or Hitmon Top. That seems pretty good. Hopefully the stadium sticks for a couple more turns. There's the Mew. Okay, that's annoying. Still, it's good we hit this then. Get damage on it so that if he does attack with it, we can knock it out. So that Custom Catcher indeed did pay off. Now we just need to custom out the Mew and knock it out. We also need to get our own Mew in place so it doesn't Venom Shot me. He could insane, like, he could randomly just get, like, a Welder and knock me out. That'd be pretty sad. He could Venom Shot me here. If he gets, like, a Welder and stuff, that'd be pretty bad. He might get a Dedene here, which, yep, he is. See what he did, Dene's. Did Dene is a good card to see him play, but we are probably gonna need to just custom out this Mew at some point. All right, let's see. Is he gonna go to Dene? He's got no energy in the discard pile. I hope he doesn't find the Counter Stadium either. Gets rid of a Faba and a reset. Ooh, Faba is a good card. That means we won't have to worry about losing U-turn board. That is pretty good. And he's actually going to retreat into the Bolsephal. He's probably going to burst here. I do have to watch out. Has he played custom? No. I have to watch out for custom catcher too. That's why I don't want to immediately bench the Hitmonlee in case of a custom catcher. Ooh, Beast Ring gets discarded. That's a cool discard. Okay, what do we draw? <laughs> Another energy. All right, you know what then? I think we gotta bench everything then, just because we need to find a U-turn board. Or switch. What? Are you serious? How do both of those whiff? Lily for four. I would attach, but if I draw a switching card, there's no point. Which we didn't. It's fine though. Hit and run. For 70 damage. We have one custom piece, so one more custom. We can bring out that Mew and try and knock it out. We'll see what else he does. Yeah, he's building up that Naganadel. He might retreat into it. It's a good thing though he's already played the Beast Energy though. That means he can't one-shot me. I want to get my own Mew in play though because of this Venom Shock. I really gotta hope this Poke Gear hits. Seriously though, double Poke Gear didn't hit a single supporter. I guess the worst supporter we could get is a Blues Tactics. There's moments where it's good, there's moments where it's bad. Blues Tactics could easily be replaced with Copycat. If you want to consider Copycat, be my guest. And just a Bursting Burn for nothing. That's really good. Okay, we drew a Cynthia. I'm just gonna bank on the fact to get a switch. <sighs> Which we didn't. Uh, that's annoying. We could have even retreated karate belted with hip or it didn't matter actually. Rip. Looks like we're stuck for another turn. I'm not gonna bench the Mew in case of a custom catcher. Dang it, dude. Where are our switching cards when we need them? They are not coming out today to play. We really needed to hit this thing too. I probably should have just retreated. Whatever. We could retreat next turn. We have the unit energy. Yeah, he's building up Venom Shot. He's probably going to Venom Shot me here. Like maybe I should have benched the Mew, but of course he can custom it. Alright, let's see what he does. Oh, he bumps my stadium. That's really bad. That's why I want to hit this thing so that we could damage it. We do have our Sledgehammer turn, actually. 
for now anyways. Well, we didn't get a switching card. Yeah, I, sh I would've went Sledgehammer. We could've knocked him out Sledgehammer. No! Oh my gosh. We could've knocked him out Sledgehammer there. Alright, what's he gonna do? We probably want a Custom Catcher out that Mew at some point too. We haven't taken a single prize yet. So, we need to hurry up. Especially if he gets a prize this turn, we need to hurry up. He retreats into Dedene, okay. If I could straight up draw a Switch or U-turn board here, we can knock him out with Buzzwolf. Which we don't. However, we still... Yeah, we- yeah, yeah, we can still do Buzzle, my thing. Karate Belt for the win! Get rid of that Heat Factory. That might be his last stadium, possibly. Alright, let's see what our prizes are. We get two here. We are drawing a few cards with Bill, too. Or Blue, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of supporters! Whatever, it is what it is. We can knock out the uh, Naganadel here, possibly. I think Reset Stamp is going to be important too. Even though the Naganadel is in play, Reset Stamp I think will still be good. Man, Karate Belt is epic. Karate Belt is epic. How many energies has he played? 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 9. He's played 9. Still has a bunch of energy left. I doubt he's gonna knock me out again at all, but I hope he does. Because <laughs> then we can knock it out with a hit and run. It looks like he's gonna go heat ran. That's fine. The more GXs he uses, technically the better. Still though, this Mew needs to go. We need to figure out a way to take out that Mew. He hasn't played a custom yet, though, which is, like, the only bad thing. <clears throat> uh, let's see what happens here. I think we'll Pokecom for Diancy, and then hit this thing pretty hard with Hitmonchan. Two-shot it, even. We're getting some pretty good long games with the deck, which is kind of cool. We might not win either of them, but we're at least getting some decent matches here, which is entertainment. It's good. It's cool. It's chill. It's litty. Okay. It is relevant he took the energy off of the Naginadel too, I think, possibly. Actually, maybe not, because whatever. Uh, bring in you. See who we draw. Switch. You came at, like, the worst time. Uh, we'll put back the Nine Tails. We don't want to reveal Gumi in case, like, just for the weirdest reason ever we need to use it. We do have both customs in the deck still, so that option knock out that Mew is there. Well, Cynthia. Still no U turn boards to be found. Guess we'll just do that. Sure. I could build up for a potential Magnum Punch. That might not be too bad either. We're gonna hit him for 90. We're hitting him for a good amount of damage. He does have his turning point turn, actually. There's nothing else I would have went into there, obviously. Ooh, a bill. Ah, oh, he does have customs, and he finds one. But does he have the other piece in his hand? Oh man, this is just not looking good, guys. This is just not looking good at all. The Hitmonchan deck, it's too much of a meme. Yeah, I don't know. I, the deck is fun to play. I mean, I feel like if you would play against Dark Fox, and of course, if you play against um, Pika, this deck probably slaps, but like, uh, most other matchups, like Green Zard, Ability Zard, 
They're pretty terrible. They're pretty terrible. Let's see what he brings out. He's probably gonna bring in the uh, Mew. <clears throat> yep, knew it. He's not gonna have his turning point turn anymore, which is kind of relevant, but he still has Venom Shot, which is relevant. Man. Uh, if this Mew wasn't in play, that would have been so nice. Yeah, we can still custom the Mew out, knock it out, possibly. Not that it matters. We'll see. We could still knock out the Mew here, though. It is possible to have Cynthia into our double customs. But we still have 22 cards left, so we still have a bit of a fat deck. Yeah, this deck is a lot worse than Behem Ninetales. I'll tell you that also. I'll tell you that for free. This deck is worse than Behem Ninetales. But... Who cares? Alrighty then. See what we draw. Nope, not looking for you. Is there a Vulpix still in the deck? Yeah, it is. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Wait. Okay, uh, Cynthia. We're 10 damage short, but it kind of sucks. We got ourselves a Goomy. You know what? No, is, is Goomy worth it? Is, is is the Goomy worth it to go into? I mean, how much energy has he played? 5, 8, 10, 11, 12? He's played 12 energy. He's got 3 left. He probably has it in his hand. We're looking for reset stamp too. We could save Gumi for reset stamp, possibly. I think we'll just bring in the Nine Tails here. It's got 10 HP. Why am I not playing Shrine of Punishment in this deck? Oh man, if we had Shrine, dude, we could have done some crazy things with that. This Mew, though, is really messing me up. If the Mew was not in play, man, all we had to do was go Hitmonlee or Hitmon Top to knock out this 10 HP left remaining hate rank. I mean, if we can stamp him here, I th think we could be okay, possibly. Stamp could be okay. Let's see what he does. He's probably gonna go Venom Shot, right? Yep. This is where Reset Stamp could be big. Get rid of his Ultra Beast, so yeah, we want to maybe stamp him here to one card. He's not going to have Diancy, that's 100% going to happen. Because the Diancy is getting knocked out here. Hope, I kind of want him to counter my Stadium too, because then we can play down the Dojo, we can draw more cards with Lily. What? Why Why did he not get the Hitmonlee? I guess because the special combo, but like, why? Diancy seemed more logical, but whatever. Okay. Welcome back, Hitmonlee. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll play this. Sure. I want to play the Switch before I Lily. Guess we need to do this, this, that. Alright, Lily for four. We got the reset stamp. Cool. The stamp is cool. He can still attack me with Naganadel though. But we got the stamp. Hey, let's be honest here. He's most likely going to get something off of this. He could even just get a Pokemon that he can get rid of with Naganadel, but we tried. Yeah, they can get him a Poipul. A Mew 3 in the deck. Oh. Yeah, he's just going to get a free draw 3. <laughs> Didn't really matter, but you know what? We tried. <laughs> we could have bricked him. It's possible. It was possible we could have bricked him there. What 
he gonna do? Yeah, he said he's dead. I mean, I figured the reset save wouldn't work, but whatever. This Mew man, the fact is too, <laughs> we lose because he'll not, he'll hit me with the aura, he just has double custom in his hand too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's the Hitmonchan deck, folks. Uh, is it any good? Probably not. We didn't really find a Pikachu game, we found two games. I mean, both games were good, we put up a fight, we took the prizes we needed to. It was an interesting video to say the least. I'm gonna have the video here, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Tell me that we're reaching 6,000 subscribers. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Hitmonchan Nine Tails deck. Let me know if you guys are making any changes to it. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I want to play Brock's Grip, but I find those custom catchers to be really important, especially like when that Mew is in play. Mew is a pest; it's a pain in the side. So we need an answer to Mew. But I would maybe want to play a couple more Pokemon in here. Uh, there could be some other fighting types you could try out. I don't know. There are things that can be changed about this deck for sure, probably. Uh, but yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our sponsor, Kirkcaver TCG. As always, use code LDF for a discount on your order. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the PCGO video. Follow me on Twitter down below, too. That's going to be for the Hitmonchan deck. Not good right now, guys. It's not good, but uh, we tried and we cried.